Welcome everyone, it's Howie Schwartz. Excited to have you guys here for our next installment in our Offer Vault free training series. Each and every week on Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, we host a free training session just for affiliates just like you. And we have affiliates all over the world joining us live. And of course, we have all the replays available for you too. If you can join live, it is definitely an advantage. That way we could look at your niche markets, look at your specific affiliate offers and answer any of your questions live on the session. And if you do miss any of our live sessions, uh, we do encourage you to go to the free training tab, make sure you're logged in to Offer Vault, and you'll be able to see each of the, the previous training sessions. And uh, some of the, the key items that we've covered recently is thinking about uh, you know sort of holiday and seasonal trends, which we're going to continue a little bit tonight. So we're going to talk about you know how do we kind of quick start our first affiliate campaign. So we'll talk a little bit more about seasonality tonight. We did two series on content marketing, how to launch your first affiliate campaign. Uh, we did uh, five or six sessions, so I guess five sessions here on traffic. So again, lots of amazing content. And if you're just joining us maybe for the first time, if you're a new affiliate, if you go back to the August sessions, you'll see how to get accepted by affiliate networks. We spent a lot of time kind of focusing um, on that. So I do encourage you to go and watch our replays. So, okay, great. So the first thing that we do every week is we make sure we have an action plan. So each and every week after you either watch the webinar live or if you are watching the replay, what we want you to do is to sign up for 10 new affiliate networks that you have not signed up for before. That's one of the key success factors that all of the super affiliates that we hang out with, Mark Roth and I hang out with, are all focused on is building relationships with new affiliate networks all the time, building deep relationships with your account managers. It is the most important step, the most important thing that you can do is to focus on making sure that you are building those relationships um, with those different affiliate networks. So each and every week, you want to sign up for 10 new affiliate networks that, have you not, that you have not signed up for before. You can pick from any of the featured sponsor networks here. You can use the, the network tab here and see which networks are of interest to you. You could also, of course, do this um, as you're searching for offers. Always make sure you're registering with the exact links that are provided from the buttons within Offer Vault, uh, we maintain relationships with all of these networks, and they love to see when affiliates that are that are coming from Offer Vault. So again, make sure you always use those links. All right. So if you have any questions live tonight, please type them in. Happy to answer them. Happy to review any of your niche markets, or to review any questions that you may have about starting up your first campaigns or scaling them. So let's get right into it. So again, during the session, if you want me to look at a specific offer or a niche market, I would be happy to. All right. So let's see here and let's start from the beginning. So one of the, the key things that I like to understand is what some of the top offers on Offer Vault are. And we can take a look at either any of the live searches or any of the top trending searches. And we can start to think about an offer that maybe we haven't run in the past and looking for something that's potentially new. So you know, on our homepage, we can see these trending searches. So uh, we've talked about uh, keto. We've talked about uh, supplements and diets in the past. We've talked about weight loss. So we can take a look at some toolbar offers, some loan offers, Zip, Zip Smiths. Again, these are different offer types. Netflix, that's interesting. I've seen different promotions in the past. Let's see if there's actually an active campaign that's running around Netflix, obviously, is a pretty strong um, brand. Or let's see if people are using you know, kind of Netflix for other kind of lead gen um, opportunities. Let's see, Junebox, Netflix, 
Your smartphone Netflix are so interesting. Let's see what's going on in here. Streaming in different countries. Um, let's take a look at this for the fun of it. I have mentioned in the past that I do enjoy running um, lots of different countries, lots of different languages as an affiliate. And those have been some very successful campaigns you know, for me personally. And I know, again, some super affiliates who run campaigns in languages that they do not speak and in countries that they do not live in, and that's their whole business. So get one year subscription. Interesting. So pick, Pixel fires once. So this is uh, Junebox and Netflix running um, <clears throat> as a trial in different countries, and it's paying on a credit card submit. So very interesting. So again, I think these are um, some campaigns that are definitely worth considering, especially in some different um, regions and also in different languages. So good, interesting. So I, I have not seen this specific offer before. I've seen other offers um, related to, to Netflix. So I think that's definitely um, worth um, considering and, and thinking about. So let's take a look at loans. So we're using trusty offer vault search and we can start to see which offers are going to be present. And again, if you'd like me to look at your niche market or your offer, please do type it in in the question box and I'll be happy to do it. So we look at loans as, as a market, right? So we see payday loans, we see personal loans, we see more payday loans, installment loans. Let's take a look here. We see car loans, we see loans in Canada, auto finance, student loans. So as I mentioned on every webinar is one of the most important things to do is to track all of your niche markets that not only are you running in, but ones that you just have ideas that you're thinking about. So for me, I like to use Google Docs or Google Sheets. And for the reason why I do that is I like to make sure that I have access to my files anywhere, in the middle of the night, if I wake up and think of a market, on the train, wherever I am. So that's why I like to use you know, an online you know, service, something in the cloud that, that is storing my, my files um, for me. So we see debt settlements here, student loans. So I'm writing these different things down. I'm writing down auto loans, student loans, mortgages, credit scores, some of these different countries that, that are available. And what just got me thinking here is I saw something related to springtime cash, right? So we are not in the spring, we're in, in, the, in the winter. But what might be interesting as a way to, to think of a promotion is, you know, you have the holidays coming and people may want a loan for holiday gifts or holiday vacation. So let's, let's take a look at that on, uh, on Google. So let's take a look at loans for holiday. So now I'm going to start writing this down from Google Suggest, Google Autocomplete. So I'm going to write down loans for holidays, loans for bad credit. So, you know, why am I kind of thinking about this right now? And, and, you know, my reason why that I'm thinking about this is because I think that, you know, when we can bring some seasonality into our marketing, you can make it more relevant, you can make it more timely, and it gives you an opportunity to then, you know, kind of, um, you know, mix it up and kind of be original and not just do these, you know, cookie cutter campaigns that other marketers might be doing. So I want to write this down. I write down loans for the holidays, holidays, bad credit. Um, let's see. Uh, so those are the ones I think. So loans, holidays, yeah, bad credit. So I'm going to write that down. Let's take a look here. Holidays, bad credit. Let's take a look here. Holiday loans, lending tree. Holiday loans. So again, we start to see that you know this is this is being validated here by you know many of these authoritative sites that are starting to to you know write content and post around this. So you need a Christmas loan. All right, let's uh, take a look at that. So 
So Christmas loans, 10 best Christmas loans. So again, we start to see here how we can take a pretty generic category like loans and start to, to personalize it and make it, again, more timely, more relevant around the holidays. And this is really kind of the perfect time to start kind of doing this. It's also interesting so related to Jackson Hewitt and h and Blocks. I wonder if they're doing you know, holiday um, loans in advance for tax returns or something like that. Hmm. So offers, interesting, Christmas loans from h and Block. Emerald program, Emerald line of credit. Interesting. So I think this is definitely also kind of researching around those brands too. Because anytime you can use a trusted brand in your affiliate marketing, you can start to increase consumer confidence. So that's why when I think about an offer, um, <clears throat> when I think an offer um, related to really any niche market, I'm always looking for kind of known brands in that niche, even if it's a lower payout. And this is sort of an interesting topic. So I've mentioned in previous webinars that I seldom run the highest payout offer. I focus on the offer that I believe and that I test will have the highest conversion rate because having a higher conversion rate and a lower payout is typically more profitable for you and you're starting to build a relationship with your consumers, with your prospects, with your lists. So again, I'm not focused on the highest payout. I'm focused on the highest conversion rate and reasonable payout to get the, the highest um, return on my ad spend or highest return on my investment Right for for the, the traffic or, or kind of lists that, that I'm building, right? Really important point. So um, again, you know, anytime you see an opportunity for something around like, you know, an H&R Block or Jackson, you like something that's a known brand, even if the payout is, is lower, I would suggest that you test it or at least split test the offer. And in my experience, um, uh, you know, the majority of the time, or at least, you know, a lot more than 50% of the time, a, a known brand with a lower payout will wind up being more profitable than an unknown brand with a higher payout just because the consumer confidence, the trust, you're going to see a higher conversion rate. And that's worked um, for me kind of your know, cross niche market. So now, you know, we went from this, you know, sort of generic loans that everyone else is running and, and we find something that's, that's seasonal and timely. So for holidays and bad credits, let's look at some of the content, right? So we look at lending tree, which is obviously um, one of the, the, one of the leading, um, providers here personal loans here <clears throat> loan for the holidays okay seven best loans so we start to think about some of the content that's being developed so i'm a really big fan of content marketing so much so that i did two recent webinars that are available on the free training tab with an offer vault so you can see my two content marketing webinars that we've done in the past few weeks right so, you know, for me, this is a, a great way to, to develop some content, to write some reviews of these different programs. And I'm going to assume that these programs are either sponsored or that they're affiliate links, right? And that's how they're starting to monetize these. So again, starting to understand the types of content that's being developed and being written in article marketing and publishing on a blog, things like that. So I'm going to write this down. I'm going to put this I'm going to put a link to this in my Google sheet, my Google document. I'm going to want to understand it. Now we're looking again, how they're taking, you know, uh, holidays. Now they're taking, you know, some of probably some more cookie cutter content and then, you know, writing about, you know, holiday loans in here. So this is probably less unique content than the previous articles that we, that we just looked at. So need a Christmas loan, bank loans. So, Interesting. This looks like some of the same content, actually, right? So I saw something about pawn shops and Christmas credit cards and loans from family and friends. So, huh. so maybe this is you know the same kind of affiliated uh, company. Be interesting to see. So again, that gives you a feel how we can take any offer and looking for something that's for seasonal. So if it's a Valentine's Day, maybe someone needs a loan for Valentine's Day present. Maybe for spring break maybe for a summer vacation, right? 
maybe for back to school, maybe for uh, maybe back to school for a parent, you know, maybe back to school college for, you know, for students, things like that. So, you know, taking, you know, a popular category like this, right, like loans and turning into something that's seasonal and timely and relevant is, is, is really just a, an excellent way to, to build attention and be a little bit more unique, right, which is really what this is all about, right? So this is all about standing out. So uh, people always ask me other marketers, you know, kind of what am I reading now? Because I, I read a lot and, and I believe in, in kind of educating my, myself and always kind of taking, you know, my education to, you know, to the next level across marketing, personal development, everything. So my favorite marketing, marketing author is Seth Godin. So if you're not familiar with, with, um, with Seth Godin, I suggest that you start following him online, any podcasts and any reviews. And this is one of my favorite books, um, marketing books ever. So I do suggest that you read um, The Purple Cow and, and you could watch some of the videos from Seth, you know, kind of talking about it. I actually had an opportunity to interview Seth, oh man, maybe 15 years ago. I'm trying to think. It was a long, long time ago. Um, and it was just, it was just an awesome experience. He was super nice. Um, so again, my favorite marketing author, everything he's ever written is amazing, but I do suggest that you read the purple cow. So what it's going to talk about is that you need to be remarkable. Um, you need to stand out. So the story of the purple cow is that Seth Godin and his family on vacation, they're driving through the countryside in Europe and they're like, look at the cow, look at the cow. And after the hundredth cow, wasn't that interesting, but if they would have driven by a purple cow, that would have been remarkable and that would have gotten near the attention of his family. And that's what marketing is all about. It's all about attention, right? So again, a uh, great, great book. I, I do encourage that, um, that you follow Seth and, and, and read this. It's, it's definitely worth, um, definitely worth your, your time. So, okay. So we got just a great question here from Carlos about, you know, can we add, you know, video marketing for things like loans or, or holiday loans? And the answer is yes. We should be doing video marketing for everything that we do. So what you're going to find in many cases um, is that Google will include results from YouTube and other video platforms um, from, let's see, cash advance for Christmas. Let's see this. Um, Google will include videos in the, in the typical SERPs or search engine result pages, like the typical Google listings, um, from, especially from Google, you know, YouTube is a Google property, right? So I'm a really big fan of, of video marketing and you building yourself as an authority and as an influence and in, influencer in your niche market. So working with you know, something like YouTube and, and, and video marketing is a, is a great way to think about it. So you can do this with, you know, a PowerPoint presentation, right? So let's see this, this, this might not even be live action. Yeah. So this is just someone running some PowerPoint slides and the URL. So again, you don't even have to um, put it in the description so you don't even have to, um, you know, kind of speak or, or videotape yourself if, if you're not um, comfortable with it. You could even do like a video like this. I do encourage where you are comfortable to to record your own um, video of yourself kind of helps you build as an authority. Are you looking for the best products you can find in the market? Take a look at the next video to understand why this is the best thing for you. Getting approved just got easier. Step. Yeah, so again, fast. you guys get the point. You know, lots of different video marketing opportunities. So yes, 100%, Carlos, you should be including video marketing uh, and everything you do, including content marketing, like we just talked about. You know, um, you know, writing blogs, submitting articles, press releases. You know, all of this it becomes part of that. You know, that 360 degree strategy. It's not only about buying ads, right? So it's not only about Facebook or or, or Google, or display ads, or retargeting. Again, we had that five-part traffic series that's on the free training tab with an offer vault. So it's not only about that; it's also about you know how we can focus on content marketing, develop content, developing videos is is a really important part of. Um, of, of content marketing. So again, I think that's a great idea, Carlos. You 100% should do this in each one of your niche markets.
Okay, so let's talk about, you know, from the beginning, you know, how do we start to promote and monetize this offer? So first thing I'm doing is I'm looking for a niche, either something I'm already interested in or involved in, or something could be trending. We came out with loans. I took a step back, zoomed out and thought about, all right, what's the time of the year? What's the seasonality that we're involved in? And said, let's see if there's a market around Christmas loans or, or loans for the holidays. And we discovered magically that there is. Then what we're going to do is we're going to apply to multiple offers within uh, the countries that we're focused on. So as I mentioned multiple times, it's really important not to only work with one affiliate network and one offer. You do not want to put all of your eggs in one basket. You'll also find different varying payouts. You'll find different caps. The concept of, an, a, cap, of a cap a cap within an affiliate network is the number of leads or, or offers you, know, you can generate per day. And many times for, for new affiliates, they might say you can run you know, 20 leads a day or something like that until you kind of prove out the quality of the traffic. And that's very common. So running with multiple affiliate networks is a way to have allocation across from many different affiliate networks affiliate affiliate networks so again i'm a really big fan of 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 making sure that we're broad and have multiple affiliate networks that that we can work with not only focused on on one so i think that is a really um important point um okay let's see um so after we're applying for I'm just reading questions, so after we're applying for the affiliate networks and getting accepted and finding multiple offers, then as I mentioned, you know, we're finding um, you know, something seasonal, something trendy, something in, in, in the now, in the news that we can that we can market around, right? So now we're talking about sort of holiday or, or Christmas loans. Again, we can do this for any any season. Next, then what I like to do, even before I run ads, is I like to have my content strategy in, in place. And then as I'm running ads and testing, I'm continuing to develop content. I think what happens is people just say, I'm just going to run ads and I'll get to content later. And guess what? Running ads is is time consuming and people get distracted and you know life happens and they never develop the content. So what's so important about content marketing is it takes time for content to age in Google. So it ages like a fine wine over time. So the quicker that you get your content indexed by Google search engine, the quicker that you get your content out there for people to start backlinks and linking towards it and calling out, the quicker you can develop yourself as an authority. So if you wait a month to start your content, then you're a month behind, right? So it's really important to me that we start our content plan day one. So this is not Shakespeare. It's not a masterpiece. Just write mid or short form content. Obviously, check your grammar and your spelling. Use you know, Google Docs or, or you know Microsoft Word or whatever. But again, uh, it's not a Pulitzer Prize winning piece. So just write basic content of value. Reviews work really well. Tying things into seasons like we're doing tonight also works really, really well. So that's sort of, you know, I think, you know, my, my main uh, thing that I see so many affiliates forget is that they delay and procrastinate around content because content development, it's not that it's hard. It just takes some time and effort. So people procrastinate and they never get it done. So I don't want you to be that marketer. I want you to be someone who can start content marketing and never stop. So people always ask me, when do I stop promoting a niche? When do I stop, you know, actively uh, marketing or actively developing content? And my answer is when um, when I'm, you know, when I'm, uh, dead, I guess, number one, <laughs> I guess the nicest, the nicer answer is when I don't want to make any more money from that niche market. Right. So I promote that niche market for as long as I want to make money in that. And I never stop. So I think that's a really important point, um, to consider. Okay. So we have our multiple affiliate networks that we've applied to, to diversify. We've started our content marketing. We've done some video marketing like Carlos is planning, and then we can start our next, um, you know, paid campaigns or paid campaigns. And you know, I encourage you to watch the, the five part video series that we did. So we talked about, you know, running display ads, right? We talked about Facebook marketing. We talked about, you know, Google AdWords, right? So those are all really important steps. And I think a lot of times, you know, marketers will, will just focus 
will just focus on, on AdWords or just focus on, on Facebook and they're missing out on all these other great traffic sources. So another important tip is to make sure you not only diversify the affiliate networks that you work with, is but to also make sure that um, you also diversify in the traffic sources that, that you are running. So what I like to do is I like to make sure that I am continuing to test my offers and to test my traffic. And I think this is, you know, sort of a, a big key thing that also really separates, you know, sort of the, the super affiliates from, you know, from everyone else is, is that, you know, they're spending so much time thinking about and looking at their data, looking at analytics, looking at split testing data, conversion data to make sure that they're always optimizing. And that's one of the key things that I do recommend is that never launch a any traffic campaign, organic or, or paid media, without having your, your specific goals in mind, without knowing your metrics. So if you know you're going to pay be paid $70, $75 CPA, you know, for something like this, you have to take a look at at you know, what the requirements are to understand kind of what your conversion rates um, are going to, to look at, right? And then make sure you know your numbers, right? And go into this thinking about, all right, so my conversion rate might be, you know, X percent in the best case, X percent in the more likely case, X percent in, you know, a poor or, or poorer or a weaker case. So thinking about those metrics in advance is critical because then we start to know how much you can start to pay to acquire customers. And then if you're tracking your data correctly, we'll obviously modify our acquisition costs to, to maintain our margin. But you need to go in to these campaigns with a feel of what it takes for you to be profitable. And that's a really important point is because many times marketers run campaigns and they don't even understand their own data, right? They don't understand, you know, kind of what it costs to break even or, or, or how much they should be spending on customer acquisition costs, right? So it's really important that we do this work in advance, right? Even before we start the campaign, before we write a blog post or record a video or, you know, before we, we run any campaign, super important to know what your metrics are going to be and how you measure success. Too many times, you know, we meet with, with, with marketers and affiliates and <clears throat> we ask them how they're doing. They say, oh, we're doing pretty well. And then we talk about, you know, what's success for them. And you'd be shocked how many people can't answer what success. A lot of people will say the typical, oh, you know, I want to make, you know, $10,000 a month from my marketing or, you know, whatever, whatever the number is, right? And that's sort of a standard thing that you'll hear people say. But what I would look at is um, to understand, you know, what, you know, what your goals are, what your milestones are. So it's great to think you're going to make and, and you want to make or need to make $10,000 a month, but what's the milestones to get there? How do you have your first sale or, or affiliate commission? How do you then generate a thousand dollar month? How do you generate the milestones for five, you know, for a five thousand dollar month, seventy five hundred dollar month, and to scale up from there, right? So having that plan is really critical. Understanding how do you you're budgeting for maybe you're outsourcing some content or website development, maybe you're running media. Having a clear budget for all of this is really important. So you don't get surprised, number one. And number two, that you don't you know, start halfway through and then have to abandon it. So that's why having a budget and goals is critical even before you launch your campaign. So now once we have our budget and our goals set is make sure that you stick within them too. So don't keep on going outside of that budget, which is another important point, right? So when you're working within your budget um, and your goals, then you can start to prioritize what's going to give you the fastest and the best return on investment, right? What level of content marketing, what level of paid traffic, right? So thinking through, you know, all of these steps when you're beginning, even before you begin your affiliate campaign, knowing the questions to ask of your affiliate managers, things like, you know, what's the average conversion rate, right? We'll talk about that in, in a second is really important. So that's the next step is building a relationship with the affiliate manager for each one of the affiliate networks that you work with. So 
to me, I like to ask my the affiliate managers, so which of these, let's say if they have four or five payday loan offers or holiday, you know, or cash advance offers or something like that, I ask them, so which is your top converting offers for the US or whatever market you're in? And they'll tell you. Great, what type of traffic is working? Facebook, your AdWords, like what is it? And they'll they'll tell you what type of traffic is working. Great. Do you have um, any comments on demographics? I asked them. Is this convert better for for males or or females of a certain age range? No, it's you know it it's, it works for both males and females, but typically thirty five and older or something like that. Okay, great. And again, I'm writing this all down. Uh, what about geography? Uh, is there any restrictions? No, this offer runs throughout the U.S. Any pockets of the country that works? Better, like yeah, big cities. The top twenty cities work well, or they might say rural areas work well. So now you can start thinking about that in your marketing. So when you're asking the right questions of your affiliate marketer, or your affiliate managers, right? You're starting to plan out your campaigns. You're starting to plan out what type of content marketing, what type of videos you want to produce, and what type of media you want to generate. So those are really your keys. Is that we start with our research. We try to make it timely and personal and relevant, like around a holiday or, or seasonal or something like that. Then we, we start to plan out day one, what our customer acquisition costs and what our potential margin and gains can look like. So we know what, we know how much to spend on traffic and content. Um, then we do our competitive research and understand what the market is writing about how they're addressing the customer, how you can start to put yourselves in the shoes of your customer, right? To walk with your customer. That's like one of the most important things in marketing and, and selling those connections, right? And then we can start to plan our paid campaigns and understand what's running on Google, what might be running on Facebook, and and, and how you kind of fit in with your own flair, whatever the word is, like your own your sort of style, right? So you had to be the purple cow, right? We talked about with Seth Godin's, you know, famous book. So, you know, being able to to do and plan that out in advance is, is really one of the most important things that that I can say that you do is track everything, be diligent, test heavily, and have a plan. Don't jump into an affiliate offer or a market without a plan because then it's it's hard to be successful when you don't have a plan in advance to know how to judge success. All right, everyone, hope you enjoyed tonight's session. It was great to have you here. Remember, every Tuesday night live, 9 p.m. 6 p 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, all of the webinars are on the free training tab and offer vault. I encourage you to watch them all, starting from the most recent back through the middle of August. I think you'll find them to be very, very valuable and helpful. Um, and take action. Sign up for your 10 affiliate networks after this webinar or replay. Very, very important. All right, everyone. Thanks again. I hope you enjoyed the session. Have an awesome night.